Hello everyone, this is my review of Oak Park Regional Park in Stockton, California. This is a great park. It is very big and has a lot of trees, a lot of grass. It has a lot of covered shady areas for barbecuing. Uh, pagodas. Um, it also has many restrooms that you can now uh, use that are very clean. The one drawback is it is only day use, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. There is no swimming. Uh, there is fishing. There is a lake, a little man-made lake with farmed fish. You can get like five bass and five striper per day. Uh, I did not inquire about the pricing for fishing, but for just parking and enjoying the park, it's five dollars. Uh, there is a lot of grass, green grass, uh, a lot of golden grass too. It's edging towards June. Uh, the height of summer hasn't arrived yet here in Stockton. But as you know, California isn't just known as the Golden State because of its 1849 gold rush. It's also known as the Golden State because of the grass going golden uh, at the height of summer. <laughs> uh, we have a Mediterranean uh, environment or climate here in the uh, Central Valley, Stockton area. So, uh, summers do tend to be hot. Um, I really enjoyed the park. Uh, it's a dog park, cover, uh, a leashed dog park as well. Uh, I did see some dog poo. Uh, I saw more goose poo, but what are you going to do about that, right? Um, as far as the dog poo goes, people really should be cleaning up after their dogs. But... One thing I did not notice, although I was not on the lookout for it, was uh, trash cans to put the dog poo in. So maybe if, if you know, there are some trash cans around the area, uh, people just need to, you know, do the right thing. So uh, my review, basically, it's a uh, park was created in uh, 1979. There is a nature center, which was closed, COVID. Um, hopefully pretty soon, uh, Stockton, will, along with California, will open up. And that nature center will open up. Uh, there are some uh, great pictures I took and a couple shorter videos about some things I took on the nature trail. And some interesting things I found. I did a drone video as well. There is some big open spots where you can, grassy spots, where you can uh, fly your drone. Uh, you just do, you do need to be careful though. There are some, I don't know if they're gophers or squirrel, land squirrels. I don't know what they are. Holes, uh, I noticed while I was walking around with the drone that I want to be, you know, sure about where I was walking. No need to uh, twist an ankle. Um, it's a great spot. I'm parked in a nice shady spot right now. And the park is well kept. I did not see not one single piece of litter. I was very happy about that. People pick up after themselves or that $5 fee helps to go for people to employ them to, uh, to clean up after the park, in the park, people that enjoy the outdoors. Um, it's great. I really like this park. Uh, there's a whole bunch of places between four and 500, two or three of those. Uh, spots where you can have groups meet. 
Um, they even list as dancing as one of the areas, one of the things that you could do in those spots. All the way down to like 20 people spots. Uh, all covered, all shaded uh, with picnic tables and barbecues and things like that. There's, for the kids, um, playgrounds. I saw two or three of those. And... You know, it's it's great. You know, I, I I really enjoyed my time here, uh, and I think that if you were looking for a great place to spend some time with your kids and your family, uh, take a walk around the park and the trails. They got a couple different ones. Uh, sit and do some fishing. You know, relax. By all means, it's a great park to do that. All right. Thanks for listening, and uh, don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much.